Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to go over uh, updating your run tippy. I'm going to go over the manual way and the automatic way of setting up a crone job. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over a home lab, so installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So now when you are on your run tippy, um, you'll sometimes get this update available, and that means that there's an update available for Run Tippy. So if you go in the settings, uh, you can see the release notes, and you can also um, see down here, it gives you the Run Tippy CLI update 320. So um, if you go over to settings right here, um, you'll see storage path, and I would back up anything in here before you update. And also, we will need to go on that path to update. So now I'm SSH into my run tippy uh, server. So uh, you will go to the path of your storage path that I showed you in the settings. Um, so that will be for me, uh, opt run tippy. Uh, so, uh, so now, um, if you do ls, you can see that there is run tippy CLI right here. So I'm going to paste in uh, the run tippy CLI update v3.2.0. So I'm going to run this and it's going to update run tippy. So now you can see that run tippy has been successfully updated and it gives you a where, where, where to get to the run tippy UI and you are now running 3.2.0, so it has successfully updated. So now if you come back to the UI and you go to settings, you should see current version is whatever version you upgraded to. So that means it's successfully been updated. Um, you can go over to my apps and you can update apps individually like this as well. So this is updating the Docker uh, cont containers. So uh, you can cl click this and then you can press update right here and it says update app to the latest version so i'm going to update so now this is how you update individual apps and now you can see that if you go back into the ui for dozzle you can see it is now successfully running so it did successfully update so now if you don't want to update manually every time, you can set up an auto update uh, Chrome job. So uh, on the run tippy docs, you can see that there has been a guide by uh, Dan's new, new legs. Um, so um, you can go here and you can create an auto update script. So if you copy this, And then we go over in a section to our run tippy and create this file. We're going to put it in the Chrome job to run at 4 a.m. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I've SSH to my run tippy, and I'm going to go to the storage path, and that will be for me uh, opt and run tippy. And then now I'm going to create a directory called scripts, and then I'm going to uh, use, uh, go into the scripts. Oops. And then now I'm going to go to nano, and I'm going to say auto update sh dot sh and then once you do that you're going to paste in what i uh copied over in the run tippy documentation and then now i'm going to scroll up to this run tippy path right here and i'm going to put this is opt and then a run tippy um so now i'm going to um control x 
Y, and then return or enter. So now I've created the auto update.sh. So now I'm going to make sure the script is executable. So I, I, I'm in opt, run tippy, and then scripts. And then now I'm going to paste in the command. So um, now I'm going to make it executable. So there we go. And um, you can see by LSA. So now you can see it is executable. So now I'm going to set up the script to auto run with Chrome, uh, Chrome tab. So I'm going to do sudo and then Chrome tab and then E. So now um, you can choose your editor. I'm going to choose one for nano. And then now I'm going to scroll down and to all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to paste in the command. So now I'm going to um, take the path to and make this opt. And I'm going to do the same thing over here as well. Now, you don't have to have uh, this part right here and and on. Uh, this will make it to where it logs to this uh, .log file right here. So you can keep up with what it's doing. Um, you can cut this off and just make it to where it just runs a script. So I'm going to do Control X, Y, and then Confirm. So um, now the Chrome job is set up to run at 4 a.m. every day. So now I'm going to make sure the command actually runs successfully by manually running it. Um, so I'm going to remove the, uh, the Chrome tab um, to where it runs every 4, uh, 4, at 4 a.m. So now I'm going to put bash on the first of it. And then it'll be the same command from there. And it'll log to the up auto update.log file. So now I'm going to run it. And now if you do ls, you'll see the auto update.log file is here. So I'm going to cut it out. So now you can see it did successfully run. And it said no new release found or major version mismatch. So it did successfully run. So I just went over step-by-step -step on getting your run to be updated. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.